Well, I'm Dr. Jordan Graff. I'm a retinal surgeon in Phoenix, Arizona, working with American Vision Partners. I've been a retinal surgeon at the Barnett Delaney Perkins brand for the last 15 years. Came here from the University of Iowa, where I did my last six years of microsurgical training in the University of California before that. I'm also a clinical research scientist. I really enjoy working with colleagues from around the world, um, working with organizations that are striving to be tip of the sword, find new treatment options, new opportunities, gene therapies, port delivery platforms, new medications, new delivery mechanisms that help to treat some of the most devastating diseases that we treat in retina. Macular degeneration is the number one cause of preventable blindness for the elderly population in the United States of America. And it's treatable. We can slow it down. We can stop the hemorrhaging. We can improve vision in many patients. But it requires repeated injections of medication into the eye. And that works very, very well. New medications are excellent. But the treatment burden can be challenging. And there's also the pharmacokinetics, so delivering the medicine. As anybody who treats any disease knows, if you treat your thyroid condition, you take a medication, it peaks and then wears off. If you treat your back pain, you take a medication, you know that it's had efficacy, and then you can tell when it's wearing off. The same is true for injections that are delivered into the eye. It has a peak and then a trough, and there's some risk during that time period. So the port delivery platform allows us to be able to have continuous delivery, continuous pharmacokinetics. Very much like treating diabetes, you can either do an injection again and again and again, or you can have a pump. And this principle allows continuous delivery of medication with the port delivery platform, or Sustimo as it's called commercially, um, with, that, with the additional benefit of less burden on the patient and the healthcare system. Macular degeneration is a combination of age, genetics, bad luck, and other factors. Uh, the toxins that we're exposed to in our environment, sunlight can, but genetics and age are the biggest factors. It's kind of like male pattern baldness. If you have the gene for male pattern baldness, you don't go bald when you're 12. It takes time and the gene. And if you don't have the gene, you have a big full head of white Santa Claus hair when you're older. The same is true on macular degeneration. If you have enough birthdays and the wrong genes, there's this high risk of developing macular degeneration. So for over a decade, the port delivery system, the Susfimo implant, and this entire platform of port delivery has been in clinical trials. And I've, I'm a clinical investigator, a clinical scientist. I enjoy working with colleagues, doctors, industry around the world to find new treatment options. And we've been involved in the port delivery platform since its inception. Uh, I was honored to be one of the first doctors to implant the port delivery platform and to do that here in the Southwest with the new port delivery system. I was the first surgeon in the world to implant this new port delivery platform last year. We're excited to see now as we're approaching 2,000 implants worldwide, our European colleagues, colleagues around the world are doing clinical trials, the Velodrome trial, to work on the port delivery platform to allow this to patients around the world providing continuous delivery of medication with less burden on the patient, the doctor's office, the healthcare system. So I'm very honored to have a team and an organization that supports clinical research so we can be tip of the sword.